good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and if you're looking behind me, that is the Haunted Mansion created by James Tanpa. Friends, he's turned it into a scavenger hunt, and I'm going to try and solve it. So let's get cracking. All right, friends, before we start, I want to let you know this design has been in a showcase before. If you look below, you will find the showcase. You will also find James Tampa's profile. Please hit that profile and make sure you give him reactions on his awesome projects. All right, friends, so if you haven't noticed, I do Tinker Hunts every Sunday. There will be a new one. You get to try and solve it. Add it as a comment below, and I'll give you a shout out the next week. James saw my Tinker Hunt and said, oh my gosh, I think I can make one in the Haunted Mansion, so now I get to try and track it down. So the first thing I want you to learn when you're doing one of these is to use F to fit view. So I just zoomed in on this item and then there are notes. So this says, Welcome foolish mortals to the Haunted Mansion Tinker Hunt. Within these walls do find the following hidden, both in plain sight and away from prying eyes. There is a whale, a rubber ducky, our sorcerer, the demon king, star, coffin, top hat, crystal ball, bat, hat box, gargoyle, and hidden mickey alrighty friends so let's go on a spooky scavenger hunt so this first one says that we can get in through this spot right here so i'm going to center on it clicking on these navigation points and pressing f is so slick it takes you right where you need to go it's almost like you're playing a video game neat idea james here we can see my second little sphere to jump to I hit the letter F and boom, I'm inside and looking at this amazing grand foyer. Oh my gosh. The details everywhere. Check out the gargoyles. That is fantastic. Cool fireplace. I'm going to click on my next little point. Let's hit the letter F and zoom over there and see what we find. Ooh. I'm not exactly sure what he's called, but at least we found him. That's our first one. Cool things floating in the air. That is awesome. If we zoom back a little, I see my next little point. Let's press the letter F and check out this awesome. This would be the washroom or the powder room. I'm going to scroll in one click and let's look at it from this side, see if there's anybody in here. <laughs> That's an amazing toilet. Uh, these objects you can click on too and hit the letter F, but you can see the wall is in the way. I'm going to real quickly just hide this wall so I can see in here better. And I'll hide this wall. I'm just doing Control H and check it out. We just found the coffin. How cool is that? So that gives us a better look into that tiny little bathroom or powder room. And we can say that we found the coffin under the stairs. As I back out, I remember I was supposed to find gargoyles, so for now I will count those. And I'm going to click on this sphere, let's press F and zoom over to this side. Let's see what it is we found. Oh, this is the amazing grand piano. And there's that cool bat-like creature. Very awesome. This is the ballroom, or maybe the ballroom's on the other side unbelievable details that piano is so slick james used a special technique to bring that in as three pieces so that it showed up with such high quality now remember as you're looking you should always look for places things can be hidden check it out in this box i'm going to press the letter f and let's see if we can look at it from the top ah oh, it was empty james tricked me i'm going to check these over here and see if they open nope they are one solid piece here i've made it to the upstairs area we can see there are notes here. Let's see what this one says. This is the ensuite bathroom. This is the first floor bedroom. And this is the master bedroom. So let's see if there's something over here to the left. It'll be over on that side I'll go to. All right, so I'm gonna hit F to zoom to this one. And we'll be in the master bedroom. Once again, I'm gonna click on the sink because I can see it's a separate part. That lets me get inside. Now I'm going to do shift pan to move over. That's a cool trick that'll make things a little faster. Let's zoom in on the bed and take a look inside the bedroom, see if anybody's hiding here, maybe even under the bed. And nothing under the bed. All right. Now for the second floor, when you're working in one of these, I allow you to do control H to hide. This also gives you a better access to the spheres as you're doing your hunting. So that's the one we just went in. There's the master bedroom. Now I've got a better look at where this case is. I'm going to do F to fit view, and let's do Control-H to hide. Hey, we do have the hat in there. 
fantastic. Let's do some looking out here and see if there's anything under the tower. I'm gonna do control H. Nope, that tower part is hidden. I'm gonna do control H and check that. Nope, nothing hidden there. Here I am in the awesome closet. That is so cool. Absolutely love that you've got a place to hang coats. Such a cool idea. The whole thing is built so well, James. This is just magnificent. All right, friends, so as you can see, I've hidden a few pieces. Uh, you can do that by doing Control H, and it just gives you a better way to get in as you're searching. It doesn't get rid of them. You can bring them all back by just hitting this. But then when you can see the items, you can do that F to zoom in and just bounce around the whole project super fast. So I'm still trying to find a few amazing parts in this project. I haven't found that little sorcerer dude. I'm going to do Control H to hide that. And I'm going to back out. Let's go over to this area and see if there's something in this front corner. This little room is just amazing. I'm going to see if I can do F to fit view and zoom in. That got me close. Let me do Control H to get the glass out of the way. Let's see if I can get rid of the big green thing. Yes, I can. Hey, there is the awesome skeleton. That is super cool. Still haven't found the whale. That's one of the pieces we're hunting for. Uh, just in case James was being sneaky making sure the whale isn't under there because that would have been funny. Uh, control H, that lets me get through the glass. One more Control H and I'll get through the door. And then let's see if I can find something I can click on. Let's go this way. This is a great puzzle, James. You are making me work really hard, which is super cool. That's the piano room, so I've already been there. I've already done this, but we'll zip back up this way anyways. Let's see if there's something over here I missed. I think that's that bathroom. Yep, this is that room. I'm going to go inside there just to make sure there isn't a whale floating higher in the air. Let's zoom in on the hammer with F. Nope, no whale up above. Quickly, I'm going to hide this wall panel so it gives me a better look around. It's got the combination walls. This is interesting. I'm not sure quite what. Uh, James was doing here, but it is pretty cool. Love this uh, texture. Oh my gosh, hadn't spotted that yet either. One of the cool things about this sort of project is you get to tear it apart and look in everything as you're searching. And the nice thing about these tinker hunts is if the details are small, it makes it more fun for the person searching. I think I just found somebody. Let's uh, see if we can do F to zoom in there and see who that is. Boom, candlestick had a little F so we could zoom in here too. Uh, I just didn't spot it from that hallway. Very cool. Floating candlestick is cool. What's that note say? That's the master bedroom note. Make sure there's not something above us. Alrighty friends, I'm going to use control H to hide a few more pieces as I hunt. What's this over here? That's another bathroom area. Very cool get rid of the big door lets me just zip around I'm gonna press F uh, this is the whole outside so I'm gonna do control H and get rid of those let's do a quick look around and see if we can find somebody else friends if you're noticing this takes time that's cuz it should it's a cool project and uh, if the person hides them well enough they can keep you hunting for a while I'm gonna hide the woolly just to make sure there's not somebody under him I have seen that trick before I'm going to hide the big chunk of walls. Once again, Control H is the hide button. Let's see what this is. F to fit view. That's the rack for the fire. Let's do Control H on this. That's where that candle was. What's this? I'll do F to fit view. Orbit around. That is a cool treasure chest. Let's see if somebody's in it. Nope. Let's see if somebody's hiding in the bed. Aha! That is... <laughs> I'm not exactly sure what it is, but it is one of the things we were finding. That's the note about the spheres, so that's one more to check off. Is this hiding anybody? Nope. Over here is another one of those trunks. Boom! Found the hat. That is awesome. Let's see if there's anybody behind the bookshelf. I have done that before. I did not check this little case over here. Let's do F to zoom in on it. 
and let's do control H to hide. Nobody in there. Let's make sure nobody's hiding in the toilet. First, I gotta hide the glass window. Nope. Oh, yeah, there is the star. Awesome. Awesome. That was just on a, a whim I clicked that. That was a good one. Still trying to find the whale. Where could the whale be? Probably the biggest thing in the building. Let's go check out the kitchen. I'm going to do F to fit view. Is it two pieces? Let's find out. Control H. Yes. Nobody hiding in the kitchen though. That is awesome. The sink, if I hit F to fit view, that's a good look at the sink. I don't see anybody in there. Let's look under the sink. Nobody. And let's check the fridge. Nobody in the fridge but spots to hide people. Let's see if we can get a look at this wall over here. I'm going to do F to fit view. So we have got wall panels. I'm going to do control H. Bam! Found the little dude. That is awesome. The little sorcerer fella has been found. The last one I think I'm hunting for is the whale. How can the whale be the hardest to find? This is a hoot. I'm going to click on this little wall right here and do control H so I can see in better. I don't see him there. Can you put a whale under a couch? Control H. Oh, I know something big. Let's see if the whale's in the piano. Although it did have this guy. Control H. Control H. There is a box under there. Control H. Nope, no whale there. Control H. We already looked in this, but I'll do Control H so it stays hidden. Where, oh where, could the whale be? Now the funniest thing would be if I already found the whale and I forgot. That's what old age will do to you, my friends, but I don't think I have. So I'm doing Control H to whittle away at the building. Control H, Control H, Control H, Control H. That's that cool room with the floating stuff. Control H, Control H. <laughs> James, you did a fantastic job with this. <laughs> Control H, Control H, Control H. And the building is amazing. As fun as it is to do the scavenger hunt, looking at how you built this is just as fun. All right, down here I got two little cases. I might have missed one of those. I'm going to do F to fit view on that one. Let's see if there's anybody in there. Nope. Anybody stuck in the bed? Nope. Nope. We'll remove another wall and another wall. Ooh, there's a trunk. Nobody in it. You get good at control H as you're trying to do all this searching. Now if you're playing with one of these and you ever wreck it and you're using one of my tinker hunts, don't forget if you just re-download it, it'll come back in the way that I shared it. And when you do copy and tinker, you can play with that tinker hunt as much as you wish. I've had several people make their own tinker hunts and share them back with me. Uh, that is totally cool, fun to see, and fun for me to solve as well. I wish we were doing this on a live stream so you, could guy, so you guys could give me clues on where to look. It's probably right in front of my face and I'm missing it. There's a trash can. Let's zoom in on that quick. Nobody hiding in the trash can, but neat idea anyhow. Love the toilet paper roll. That's a cool touch, James. Alrighty, friends. After looking through walls, I found this little guy. Great little place to hide him. If we do F to fit view, that is such a cool design. Still hunting for the whale, though. I'm sure he's tiny, probably in plain sight. Just haven't spotted him yet. Friends, I finally found the whale. If we do F for fit view, bam, in the toilet tank. That is awesome. Friends, I am still hunting for hidden Mickey, and I'm also hunting for that ducky. 
Uh, one cool thing somebody did once was they hid it under another object. So they were really the two items. But as you can see, I am doing control H to try and zip through and find those last two hidden parts. Such creative heighten. <laughs> Keeping me on my toes. This was where that little dude was. I'm going to do F to fit view so I can zoom in on him. Let's see if there's somebody back here. I wonder if there's somebody hidden in a post. That would be a great sneaky spot to hide hidden Mickey. Here's a tiny black thing. Nothing under there. I thought that might be hidden Mickey. Which would have been funny too. Control H, Control H, Control H. More trash cans. I'll zip in on that one. Nope, nobody home. Control H, Control H. Got that little dude we already found. Control H. Anybody under the chair? Nope. Hiding them out in the window areas would be sneaky too. Alright friends, I think if we zip in on this table, I have found the ducky. So that means we are just looking for Mickey. This dude was sitting on a shelf behind a wall. Alright, so where are you at Mr. Mickey? As you can see, I am in total control H mode. Trying to hide everything till I find him. I'm gonna zoom in on this piano again. No Mick no Mickey in the piano keys. Whoa, I never noticed how sharp the pipes are. Those look dangerous. Bingo! That piano was the solution, or the organ, which is a better way to say it. Oh my gosh, that was awesome. James, thank you so much for making such an amazing project. I had to totally tear it apart to find them all, but I think I solved it. And you and your project are amazing. Thanks again, buddy. Friends, just a quick reminder, there will be a brand new Tinker Hunt every Sunday. Turn on those notifications so you can be the first to find it out and maybe even the first to solve it. Finally, friends, I want to say thanks again to James. This was so cool. Appreciate your cool creation and taking time to share. Lastly, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Even hit that share button so more people can find out about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you've got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.